I'd be lying to you if I say I haven't seen this trailer. I saw this trailer already a few times in some of the movies that came out this year. But is this the final one, A War for the Planet of the Apes? I just want to share my reaction on what I initially thought when I was watching it with those that actually love to see reactions for the reactions of the people. But damn, this this marketing for this movie, it just becomes better and better as I see every TV spot or every trailer. And I don't want to spoil myself, but every time it's on, it catches my eye. I don't want to overhype things because I it had... I've had some good results from before from hype, but also some disappointment. So you gotta walk that fine line. But man, this becomes something at least like good. You have one of the best franchises in this time for movies. And it just makes me appreciate the whole Planet of the Apes mythology. Seeing like how much we've gotten from these three movies, how the apes interact with one another. Woody Harrelson, he is being sold as the villain, but he might be, he clearly is gonna be like the person that is like we had James Franco, Jason Clark, then it's gonna be him who's gonna be the one to interact with Caesar. But he's gonna it's gonna be interesting seeing him be a villain. So kinda of wanna see how they kinda of, because they have secret they have scenes where they talk with one another, so I wanna see how that goes, how they interchange the dialogue, who is right and what's their purpose, their method, motivation in this. So interesting to see that and I, I and it's just so badass. Let's get on to watching this trailer, guys. How far we've gone with like the CGI, it just feels so real. The whole motion capture. Who is child? Okay. Just how the voices are with him now has come a lot now. Oh, but Maurice. He is like the Jimmy Critter to his Caesar's conscience. She has no one else. God, that's so good. We are not good savages. job making us have sympathy they for us. Fight Apes. only to survive. So it shows that he's fighting for his family. All, all dead now for a long time. Long time. Bad humans. Soldier. I don't think I'd be the, the antagonist. Years from now, your children will ask you, what did you do in the greatest war? And you can tell them, I fought to protect this world. It would be cool if you could to actually understand both sides. We will bring an end to their con. No mercy, no peace. This is war. Apes together, strong. You are impressive. Shows that there's gonna be bad sure apes, good apes. I can see that through portions of scenes here. Stronger than we are, but you're taking this all much too personally. So emotional. Super performance, Woody Harrelson. What does it mean with that? So, like, you guys are attacking the family. They have to kind of take it personal. Such a good trailer. Seriously, I would stop after the one or two trailers, but these are, have been good, and plus I found them while watching the movie, and it really is no disappointment. Each trailer, I feel like, just gets better. Hopefully, that's how the movie is. You can see that, yeah, apes are probably going to be on both sides. Also, some are going to be good, some are going to be bad. I'm curious to see who. I wonder if the one that Caesar's talking to in the beginning might be bad, or just, just the good friend he meets along the way. And then Caesar, you just understand his motives. He's just trying to protect his family. What does I understand that he's trying to protect the human race, make sure it doesn't go extinct. Really hope they, they do some kind of thing where you both understand both sides. Even though right now, one's could be projected as the good guy, the other one's the bad guy. But I love it when people are more conflicted, when they have layers. You can kind of see that, I want to root for you, but I understand what you're saying. And then pick a side, but it's not a clear winner. So really hope they do something like that. Just the war, it just looks good. It really built up from Dawn saying war is coming. 
So this looks like is a legit war. Just the way they shoot everything, just just how it feels like it, there are stakes in this. I'm just it's just a good achievement what they've done. Andy Serkis and crew, the way they've done the whole motion capture. You see it with other movies as well. They tried it with like Warcraft. You've seen it with Mark Ruffalo and the Incredible Hulk and the Avengers. Just kudos to him with the way he's done it with already with his Lord of the Rings, King Kong, Planet of the Apes. They just worked at it to a perfection and you know, they're not stopping, they're gonna make it better. So just can't give enough compliments to that. So let me know guys what you thought when you saw this trailer. What'd you think of it? Is this your favorite trailer of all of them? And how are you anticipating for this movie? All this in the comments below. And as always, Roland Empire, laugh, smile, repeat.